man. because we ain't got all day to be on here. Some of y'all have been in church since 6.30 this morning, so y'all ready to go to sleep. But we're going to do this cranberry orange cake with a white chocolate frosting. Welcome. I want to say thank you to everyone that's a part of the group. As you know, Cooking with Love on Sundays, first and third Sunday of every month. It's just with us, our little special group. Hey, Aisha. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Susan. All right, y'all. Let's get into this cake. I got me some Afro beats on today. You know, get my exercise in while I'm baking today, you know. Hey, JJ! Bill, look, I got it on, Bill. I got it on. Woo! All right, so I did some prepping. We're gonna get our oven preheated and started. So the first thing we're gonna do with this cake is we're gonna do the cake because the cake's gotta go in the oven. While the cake is in the oven, we'll work on our filling. And then last but not least, we'll work on the, the frosting. So let's see how this is gonna work. Now let me cut this down before Facebook get me. I didn't really cut it down that much, but that's all right. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do, oven's gonna be preheated to 350. I will post the link for the uh, directions and recipe and all that stuff. But this is three cups of all-purpose flour. Look at that, I feel like I'm on a regular cook show. I'm just pre-measured and everything. Let me turn this this way, y'all don't need to see me. All right. What's next? We need one tablespoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. All right, we need a half a cup of butter. Before we get to that, we're gonna go ahead and stir all that dry ingredients up. So we got our baking powder, our, was it flour and salt? Yes. Okay. Now when making this cake, I was reading some directions and they said, make sure you follow this, these recipe directions for the cake part to the T, because if you don't, your, your cake is gonna come out either moist, I mean not moist, we like moist cake. It's gonna come out watery and loose or it's gonna come out hard like a brick. So that kind of scared me. I was like, oh Lord. All right, so now all those ingredients, dry ingredients are blended up. Let's see what's next. Where are you at? What you doing? Are you hiding? I was Come around here. I was eating my snack. Oh, okay. Because I knew I was gonna be starved in here. All right, we gotta be butter, Bye, oil, and sugar and some cream for about two to three minutes. Add one egg at a time and until mixed full until whole vanilla. Add orange juice and sugar. Alternate add dry ingredients, milk, dry ingredients, for a This is too much water. Why can't why can't we just put it all in there together? Uh, Alright, we're gonna pull out the KitchenAid, baby. Can you assist me with grabbing the KitchenAid, please? Thank you. I wasn't That's planning on the KitchenAid today. I was gonna keep it nice and 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 slow and you know nothing bougie today. But anyway, 
While you're getting that ready. Where did you want the mixer? I want the mixer right there on the stove. Okay. Right, right here. Okay. Part of my arm. Hi, everybody. It's so sweet. I'm the assistant today. You the suit. Actually, I always am the assistant. Yes. Here, I got this. Baby, you're so, you're so dainty. You're so, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay. I don't want to knock anybody over. Ooh, ooh, look at those muscles. Put <laughs> that right there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Auntie Ray. Hi, Gigi. This. Okay. Now we see where we're going to do this. So I had to do some orange juice. Now, I, this is a side comment here. We This is orange, obviously, so I had to use some zest and stuff, and we'll get to it. But something came up in my thought process today while I was doing this. I don't know why, when it comes Christmas time, that people put oranges in stockings. I don't know why that came up, but I hate that. Why do you put fruit in a stocking for Christmas? Don't look at me like that. I don't... That did not come from Santa Claus. Take it back. I don't know who started that tradition. I have to take look, it back. but I think it... I think it's colonial times. It's colonial times? Uh -huh. Well, we ain't in colonial times. Okay. We're in modern times. <laughs> I hate that. Get a stocking with full of bananas and fruits and stuff. I eat the fruit. I don't think they put bananas in there. Oh. Pears. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? You got me confused. Okay, we got to beat this thing up. Okay, we're going to use this whisk attack. Hi, Melissa. Here we go. Set her up real nice and pretty. Yes, go and wash your hands because I'm going to have you do something. I don't know what it's going to be doing. All right, so we need butter next. That's going to be a half a half a cup of butter, which is just a whole stick. That's a fancy. I don't know why the directions just don't say grab a stick of butter. Say a half a cup. All right, we'll put that in there. Next thing we're going to do is I need my other measuring cup. Where's my other measuring cup at? Oh, I feel like I'm in the motherland. Measuring cup, is it in there? Can I have that, please? Thank you. I need a half a cup of vegetable oil. Get eye level so you know how much you got in there. That's a lot of vegetable oil. Clog somebody on this up. Hey! Hello, hello, hello! And thank you all for the post. I've been loving the post in the group. It's been amazing to watch everybody posting their different recipes and stuff. I may not get to comment on everything, but I do see it. And I am so appreciative. Hey, Tyrone! Nope. This is not live on YouTube. We are gonna get something that we may do like across all of my social media stuff. But typically what I'll do is I'll have it here, post it here for a little bit, and then I'll go and upload it on YouTube. Okay, so we've got butter, oil, and what else do we need next? Sugar. All right, so this is one and a half cups of sugar right here in this bowl. We're gonna go and pour that in there. All right, now we're gonna let it mix. We're gonna go on a low. You fired. Oh, you didn't tell you me to fire it in. You were supposed to plug oh, it in. Okay. Pardon me, I have to plug it in. I... <laughs> I've been firing you every is it Is it off right it's now? Off. Okay. All right, now it's plugged in. All right. There we go. I'm at guest appearances. Usually when there's a disaster. You see that stick of butter flying around there like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I don't think you, you're going to have to get it. Uh, uh, I already left it out. No, oh, see, okay. I did. I, I pulled it out for like 30 minutes before the show. Just speed it up. Just move the hips in a circle like really fast. Like My hips don't go that fast. <laughs> And you're gonna let it do that until it gets to a nice creamy mixture in there. Ooh, uh, I think you need to lower that. I like it fast. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have bits of uh, butter around okay, the kitchen. Doing the thing. It's gonna be a search and rescue mission. <clears throat> it's 
Set supposed to do it for about two to three minutes. Next, we're gonna add one egg at a time. Then we're gonna add our vanilla. Now, I added a little bit more vanilla. The recipe calls for two teaspoons. I added like three teaspoons, because this is the, hold on, what am I doing? Where am I at? What am I, am I? Right place. It just took me a second. Okay. I didn't know where I was at. Okay. I was losing it for a second. I was losing it. Y'all saw that live. Hey, Sharon. All right. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. You see that creaminess right there? Okay. All right. Here we go. They said you are an excellent assistant. They lied. Well, at least one of us can read. <laughs> Maybe that was, here. that was offensive. Gosh, you have size 14 font over here. You know what? I feel like you're judging me right now, and I don't like it. Do you want me to check off the things that you've already put in? No. Okay. You're not helping my memory. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't be doing the gyrating stuff. I was not Your gyrating. Your eyes were, fell off the line. Mm-hmm. It's the music, I can't help it. It just does it to me. Oh, that looks so good. Sometimes you gotta hit different speeds. Thank you so much, Gigi. I really do try. <laughs> Gigi, don't be propping him up, Gigi. Oh, that's nice and creamy. But that's like you trying to hold on. There's a piece of butter in there that just don't wanna go down. It's like you. All right. Got to beat that thing up. It's a little bit harder. There we go. Oh, she creaming. Okay, we did it. Thank you, Mike from New York City. He sent me this a long time ago. It's still working. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, this is an old Southern thing here is you add one egg in at a time. Now, because I don't want to mess up this recipe and I ain't got lots of money, um, am I gonna use this a bowl? I'm gonna grab a separate dish, okay? And I'm gonna do it in the dish before I pour it in there. I'm gonna turn it back on. Turn it on one. Ooh, the oven's heated up. And I'm gonna break it in this bowl before I put it in there. Y'all can't see nothing because this thing is blocking. It's blocking the blessing. There we go. We're gonna put it back like that. Baby, leave them over there. That's too much over here in my face. What are you doing? Are you washing dishes? I don't want to get any soap in the cranberries. Well, that would be good. They're already tart. So the reason you do that is you make sure. What is that? All right, add your eggs one at a time. Let it go ahead and mix it up. If you don't have a KitchenAid, you can use a handheld mixer that works too. This ensures that you don't get any eggshells in here. All right, one at a time. We're gonna speed it up to about a two. She done turned yellow now. That egg yolk done broke up in there. All right, we're gonna do one more. All right, there we go. Whoa, watch out back there now. Okay, we're gonna add that next egg. One at a time, they're getting mixed in there really good. Okay. What's next? All right, once the eggs are fully incorporated, the next thing we're gonna add into this mixture is going to be our vanilla extract again it called for two uh, teaspoons i did three this is gonna I, you know i don't think you can have too much vanilla vanilla extract oh but the rest it looks so good right now so we're gonna go ahead and add that tea three teaspoons of vanilla extract i'm sorry i don't like what people, can i put it in there okay. just no i don't like when people put stuff in my dish what i get mad 
All right. And that means more work. Oh, that's not the truth. I have a set way of doing everything. Then we're going to add zest and let this combine. This is about a tablespoon of zest, maybe a little less because I got tired of zesting all these oranges. But we're going to go ahead and add that in there. All right, let that mix up in there. So the idea of cranberry and oranges just do something to me. I love that flavor combination. Oh, and it mixes in there so beautifully. Oh my goodness, this looks like it's gonna be a good battle. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so. All right, this is too much. So you gotta add dry ingredients, milk, dry ingredients, orange juice, and end up with dry ingredients. I can't keep up with all that. It's going in there somehow, but it can come out just right. All right, let me get my milk. Baby, I'm gonna need my, um, oh no, it's over here. All right, how much milk are we supposed to put in here? We need one cup of milk. All right, so it said dry ingredients. We're gonna add some dry ingredients in here. And what are you making for those just joining? If you're just joining, you're late. I ain't gonna keep repeating myself. Because I see a mess. You see a mess. You're making a mess. I bet you're gonna enjoy it. Um, so for those that are just joining, joining, we are doing a cranberry orange cake with a white chocolate frosting. Okay, so now we're gonna start and we're gonna add some dry ingredients in here. Let me look at this one more time. I'm gyrating again. All right, dry ingredients, milk, dry ingredients, orange juice, and you end up with dry ingredients. Now listen, this orange juice is fresh. This did not come from the store. It's this not is from concentrate. It's not concentrate. I took the time. My mama gave me her little thing because I was going to go buy one of these. And I did all this orange juice prep this morning. So this is fresh orange juice. Okay, I'm forgetting about my batter. Let's add some dry stuff in here. I'm talking too much. All right, dry. A little bit at a time. Baby, put that, oh Lord, you made it wet. My cake ain't gonna work out now. It's all your fault, you should feel bad. Yeah, recover. You almost do bad on your feet. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. That's some dry ingredients in there. The batter's starting to thicken up. Now what I'm doing, why I like the silicone is because I can press that stuff down on the edges. You know them people that always got something to say out there that ain't never in the fight. They always talking, but they ain't doing nothing. They just talking. You gotta push them in the fray. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna clean that top off too. Just let it ride right there, hit it every time, knock some of that stuff off of there. Okay. Now the next thing it called for, let me see if my memory is good. I think it called for milk. Yup, milk it is. We're gonna add some milk into our batter. Just poured it, it's a cup of milk. Ooh, that thing is sloshing. All right, I'll let it keep going. We're gonna add some more dry ingredients. Just a little bit, because you got to end with dry. All right, next thing we're going to add in there is our orange juice. This is a half a cup of freshly, freshly squeezed orange juice. That's going to give it that orange flavor that I love so much. Now, if you want to, 
You can fold some. Oh, Lord. That went in there too quick for all that work. If you want to, you can fold in some cranberries because we have extra. I think I'm just going to put them on the top, though. All right. And then the final thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add our dry ingredients. We're going to add all the rest of our dry ingredients in. And this is your batter for your cake. Oven is preheated to 350. All right. I'll keep you around. Going real good right now. All right. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients in here. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh, this looks so good. I can't wait to show y'all. All right, I'm going to cut it off real quick. I'll speed it up. Let me pull it forward. Welcome, everybody. I am, hey, Mildred. I am doing a, what is it? Cranberry orange? Cranberry orange cake with a white chocolate icing. And right now we're in the process of making the batter. I wanted to do the cake first as I thought about making this cake today because while the cake is cooking, we can do everything else. Time management, making sure that it all flows together. Right now I'm digging in the batter because I want to make sure when you're using these KitchenAids, sometimes either the ingredients are on the side or they're at the bottom. And so I want to make sure that we get it all mixed up in there good because this cake is temperamental like my husband. Who's that? I don't know. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna get it going again. Speed up just a little bit. Making sure the stuff that's in the attachment is getting worked into the rest of the dough. Baby, I feel like Martha Stewart. You know what this is right here? That's a piece of butter. You don't look like her, though. Oh, I don't? <laughs> she would not be wearing is she this the one that, Is she the one that went to jail? Yes. Oh, I don't follow me. I'll be like Paula Dean. Wait, no, I don't want to be like her either. Uh, why is this one little piece? that is holding on. It's like you just holding on. Let go and let God. Oh Lord, y'all. I want to tell y'all about a scripture that touched me today. I was doing some homework and research and I came upon a scripture. Now I can't remember the scriptures of all the you know, verses and stuff, forgive me Lord. But there was one of the scriptures, I believe it came from the book of Matthews. What you laughing about over there? Don't be laughing at me. And it says something like this. I'm paraphrasing, so don't, don't get on me. There we go. It said, what good is it to... This is great. You don't know what it is. I'm waiting for you to fill in. Oh, no, I didn't read that. You're supposed That's to be great. my suit. You're supposed to help me out. You better know the scriptures. It says, what good is it for the man to gain the world but lose his soul? Come on now. Let me touch the spirit. Where's my oil at? Come here. Give me your head. I'm going to anoint you real quick. Because you just... Come here. You need, some, you need some Jesus in you. I'm going to have to pray for you. You don't know the scriptures. That thing sat down in my spirit. Mm -hmm. You better let it go. Stop worrying about all these worldly things and stop thinking about the law. Yes, honey. I wrote that little paragraph. I said, don't be so nearsighted. Start thinking about that, that final destination. Baby, why are you wiping the oil off? That's not that's not Christian-like at all. You're supposed to leave it on there. <laughs> and drop right in I have to go off camera to wipe this oil off my face. Excuse me, I'm in the changing room. <laughs> Baby, this butter right here just ain't melting. You wanna put it? I left it out. It's like you just won't quit. It's like the little engine. Give me a metal spoon, please, so I can squeeze this thing in here. I want this batter to come out good because it looks so good. I'll let you taste it in a minute because you eat raw stuff. Your little stomach just gonna fall out. Okay, let me see this. <clears throat> Always got that one little kid. It just won't do right. 
Actually, I could probably. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Love. Deontay is attempting to make a cranberry orange cake with white chocolate frosting. You've been successful so far, but there's still time. <laughs> That's why I'm helping. No, he's doing a great job. This is uncut, raw entertainment, okay? This is not planned. This is organic. You know, like y'all like the organic food. That's a lie. Ain't nothing out there organic unless you go to the farmer's market. Did y'all see that article where the guy was going to the store buying the stuff, taking it to the farmer's market, pretending like it was organic? Lord. All right, we're going to let it go. All right, so what's next? All right, so at this stage of the game, the recipe, I mean, the batter's done. You can do one of two things if you want to. If you're not gonna do the cream filling on the inside of the cake, and you just wanna keep it simple, you can take your cranberries and just fold them into your batter. Go ahead, put them in your pants, put them in the oven. Of course, we gotta step our game up. We ain't gonna do nothing like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the filling. You know what you look like, Ace Ventura. That's why. <laughs> you know, that's what you really look like with the. Well, remember when he was coming out there, my nostrils? <laughs> yes. He was being birthed. Uh -huh. Okay, so in the bottom of our pans, like. we have parchment paper so they don't stick. But I still like to go ahead and um, spray it anyway. You know, over the top, because I don't want nothing sticking. Put my money to the bank account. Okay, I feel so sophisticated. Okay, let's bring this thing up, bring her forward, bring her up, take the attachment off. Was I trying the batter? Oh, I forgot about that. Here, you can try it off of here. Oh gosh. You can lick it, you well, know. I'll just, I'll just stick them. You get them. No, oh, all right, I'm putting it over here. All right, thank you. Take uh -huh. it. Oh, babe, you got it all over the uh -huh. place. Uh -huh. I did not. See? It's a good one. It's actually, it's really good. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Thank you, I made it, I know. <laughs> it is, you can taste that orange in there, definitely. Good morning, Liz. So you can taste the orange? I can taste the orange. Okay, that's what I wanted. For everybody that was watching, I only did a... Uh, now, y'all saw me put them raw eggs finger. in there. I'm not trying to kill them. I know. But here's not the raw stuff. <laughs> You could die from that. You could get salmonella. I could, but get I have not yet. <clears throat> Botulism. I could. All right, so I got a half and half. Yeah, that's a very good one, though. That's a good bet. But it's going hard. Right, don't, don't put the water over here yet. Let me finish. No, I'm just putting I'll let everybody watch. Hey! I don't even know how to half and half. Good morning, Liz. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being a part of the Cooking with Love group. I love y'all. Love y'all so much. Again, if you're just joining, Deontay is making a cranberry orange cake with white chocolate frosting. Let that music just transport you. A white chocolate. I think I put an accent on that. <laughs> Turned into Deontay. Woo! So the oven is already preheated. You're putting it in for, what, 350 for how many minutes? I don't know until the spirit tell me to cut oh, okay. it off. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that look. Woo! Yes. All right, it's got to cook for how long? I couldn't see it. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. All right, baby, which one needs more? Your eyes is better than mine. You don't have to lie. This looks, that looks good. I put a little bit more in the, the, the first one over here. And 
Don't fret though, because Deontay has planned some entertainment for the next 45 minutes. Uh, he is going to be making the frosting, and you're going to be making the filling, right? Okay. See, I thought this thing through. Can you sit that down flat for me? Which one? Move it to the flat part of the stick. It's got a. I got an eye. What you think? Got a little bit more about to touch that one. Yeah, but I'm gonna need it. I need it for my orange juice. Oh, okay. Which one needs more? Worry about even. This one needs more. Which one? This one. Ready to go in the oven? They are ready to go in the oven. I just want to get this up. Oh, I'm gonna slip. All right, we're ready. 45 minutes. You can do this out. <laughs> All right, 45 minutes. Let's go. Oh, this oven is so clean. Who cleaned it? I don't know. Ain't nobody looking was, in there. It was me. Hey, Ruth. Okay. Miss Ruth. Mama Ruth. 45 minutes on the timer. All right, 45 minutes on the timer. All right, sous chef, this is what I need you to do. I need you to, we're gonna go in 44 minutes. 45. Don't tell me what to do. You my sous chef today, you ain't my husband. Okay. We're gonna get this out the way. Let's, we gotta wipe this down, but we'll do it after the show. I was gonna wipe it down now. Well, that I gotta keep work. I gotta keep moving. People ain't got time to be watching you clean. No, oh, okay. I'll take it. I want it out the way. We gotta go into our next part. Okay. Are you done using it? Yes, I'm done using that. Okay, so the the cake is in for 45 minutes, so we gotta you slow this. Splash me. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. I've been baptized. <laughs> Yes, honey. I felt that thing this morning. I said, don't worry about the power and the position. Yes, honey. All right, so let's keep moving. So now we're going to go into this place where we're going to make this cranberry filling. And I'm nervous. I am nervous. But let's get into it. That pan is not big enough. Which pan? The sauce pan. They say use a sauce pan. You can't put all those... Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. People, this pan. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take our pan. We're gonna take our pan, and let's see where we're going with this. So we're making a cranberry filling. All right. So we have five cups of cranberries. Five cups of cranberries here. For some reason, what? cranberries were hard to find this, this time Cranberries are very hard to find, so these were frozen and we had to let them fall. Now the instructions said leave them out for 30 minutes. I left them out for an hour because something in my spirit told me 30 minutes wasn't long enough. And that still wasn't long. Look, baby, that's you. There's one white one in here. Look at that. Look just like you. We're gonna call that the bin. Okay, so we're gonna put all our ingredients in here and start working, all right? Thank you, Jessica. Okay, so we need one fourth cup of water. <coughs> Thank you, baby. Oh, I so we need one fourth cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. We're gonna do two tablespoons of cornstarch three-fourths cup of granulated sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I did a full teaspoon of cinnamon and I did a cup of sugar because I want to make sure that we, cranberries are tart. I wanted to make sure we cut down on some of that so I increased it a little bit. Hopefully it's gonna work out. A 
Again, instead of a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, I did a full teaspoon. Cornstarch, I left it where it said it to be, and that is two tablespoons. I hope I did this right. I put in that cinnamon, sugar, sugar's next. All right, and as I told you, that's a cup of sugar right there. Okay, is that dirty, baby? You just snatched that out of my hand. That was mean. That was not nice. Oh, baby, I wasn't supposed to put that sugar in there. You were? I would think that you would need to put sugar in there. I'm just I just want to see what you're going to say. Where is that butter supposed to go? Well, oh, that butter's for later. Okay, so cranberries. Is this one fourth cup of water? Yes, it is. Let me see. You didn't drop it like it's hot. Let me see. No, I put cold water. So. Oh, look at you. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. All right, that's one fourth cup of water. We got cranberries, water, cornstarch, white sugar, cinnamon, and now we're going to follow it up with some, where's my little orange thingy? Oh, it's in the cleaning process. It was. Oh, it was clean. I just have to make sure with you. <laughs> I cannot have any food All right. <laughs> hey, Sharon. Love y'all. We're going to do some freshly squeezed orange juice for. Now, listen, it calls for one fourth cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. Why do you have frosting on there? Because, um,. Frosty was following me around. The, you tell Frosty to leave me alone. Frosty the snowman. Okay. So, let's start going. Let me move this to the back. It's not like it's on anyway. All right. You stick it on like this, press down, and squeeze. It calls for one fourth. We'll see how much we get. I've got more than enough oranges. But I really want that orange flavor to be pronounced. So I'm just playing around with the filling. Do what you do, what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Tammy. We're going to take our time and slow things down just a little bit. Who's in here? Who's in here? We got people from all around the world in the group, y'all. I know it's New Zealand. New Senate. Zealand, Canada, China, Quebec. That's in Canada. Algeria. Hey! Hey, Evelyn. We done created our own little family. Listen. Baby, I missed the hole. Okay, how much we got here? We gotta keep going. Hi everybody, welcome. Now when you're trying to do your fruit, hello from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-
Not that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what school bus you was on. You was on the school bus with the little white roof. <laughs> All right, we're at one fourth, but we're gonna keep going because I want that orange taste. I want you to I want you to be able to as soon as you stick your lips into it, I want you to taste the orange. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And what you gonna do with half an orange anyway, okay? Good. Are you good? Don't look at it. You think I, how much more do you think I should put in there? If it calls for one fourth. Yeah, that's enough. What? You almost there, right? I'm there. I'm past there. Oh, okay. But I got two more that I zested. So you mean to just put them in there? Hey, go ahead. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Don't do that. We'll eat them later. Because I, I don't know how that's gonna affect. All right, y'all, let's get it cooking, all right? We got 35 minutes on our batter. We're going to put it in there. I recant my stand. All right, now what do we put our eye on? I'll put it low. Over medium heat. i put it just like four. That's I like know, four. I know my stove. I know my stove. Okay. Now listen, did I almost cut you? You tried. Oh, I would never cut you. So, I wouldn't stab you either. You're my baby. I love you too much. I couldn't live without you. How do I live without you? You don't. I'm editing your papers. and You ain't editing no paper. I did all my homework this weekend by you myself. Did. You really didn't need me. I didn't need I you. I felt neglected. Okay. So, all right, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mildred. Can you give a go? Uh-uh, uh-uh, Barbara. Uh-uh, Barbara. That's fighting words. What happened? You know I'm a Cowboys fan for life. They ain't in the play book, Super Bowl, though, but you know. M-I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Crooked letter, crooked letter, I. Hump back, hump back, I. Yes! That's what it was. Uh-huh. All right, we're gonna cook these. This is what I need you to do, Sue. That's your new name, Sue. What I need you to do is- No, I need I'm fine you, over here in this station. I need the thing that we, the masher. I'm oh, gonna God, need the masher. All right. Now you wanna constantly, you wanna constantly stir your filling. You don't want it to burn. You wanna watch it. Don't do anything else but watch your filling, okay? Cause you'll mess it up. You'll mess it up. That ain't gonna work. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is not good. This is the masher, right? You, right? You're just gonna have to. There's the masher. Do you know how big a cranberry is? Let me show you. Let me show you. You're gonna be able to do this. You're gonna crisscross. I'm gonna crisscross you. I'm always in trouble. It's gonna be fine. It, uh, I knew it was gonna be fine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's really tart. <laughs> you have to have sugar. I don't like cranberries though. You hit me in the back of my throat. Oh, okay, I like to hit you in the back of your throat. Baby, that is not nice. Go to your room. I'm gonna pull the oil back out. This is not on the eye. Okay, there we are. That's why I have to supervise this process. <laughs> All right, you're, you're ready. It says bring it to a boil. We can't bring it to a boil at four. Okay, I don't know what this is in the background right now, but it's disturbing my spirit. Okay, we're gonna watch it. Why don't you show everybody? My lips don't move with my talking. Crisscross applesauce, okay? We're doing a cranberry orange cake with chocolate filling. That's what it looks like in there, nothing special. For the heat to do its thing.
Baby, let me see you this. You have extra butter over here. You need this. Yep, I need that for my white chocolate filling. And we're going to do that whole thing where we put the, the, the um, chocolate in a bowl, put it over some steam, let that melt it down. Okay. Mm hmm Baby, something wrong with you because the music don't make you move. Something wrong with you. That's how I know. Oh, she heating up, though. Oh, yes. Oh, I felt you back there. I felt you. Watch out now. Ooh, all of them are turning white. See, people's internet is lagging because you're gyrating too much. The internet is lagging? It looks fine over here. Oh. Oh. So what else is going on out there? What y'all been up to? Is it, it was supposed to snow today. No, it wasn't. Yes, it did. It said it was going to snow this weekend. It, did not. it said that six was yesterday. Oh. Oh. That was yesterday. Oh, Sharon said you're a white wife. It's lagging. I don't know what to tell y'all. Just watch me and lag. We'll upload it on YouTube. Go on over there and subscribe. Sub 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 <laughs> Baby, is this thing hot? It looks like it is. It's steaming, isn't it? No. Is he coming out of it, though, right? Something like that. Can I have the top of this? Where you going? Sous chefs don't leave the kitchen till the, till, till the master chef say you can leave. I'm paying you for this. Don't touch that. Burn your little fingers off. Oh, yeah, it's working. Then what if it would have burned your hand off? Did you tell everybody that the, the what happened in news? What news? About the house. Oh, yes, we got good news. Y'all going to hear it here first. So, I think this is the one that. Look at you. That's why I, that's okay. I need you. Come here. Oh, my gosh. So, see, I passed that little session when you're a little kid and you fit the blocks in and see what fits. I know you're still working on it. You are what we call not there yet. We have a growth mindset, though. <laughs> you were the one that was putting the circles and the triangles and stuff. So That's how I met you. So, y'all, let me tell y'all, we got good news. This is amazing. Hold on, let me give y'all a full view up this way. We've got some amazing news, okay? You're going to hear it here first on Cooking I'm with Love. I'm not pregnant. Oh, You're I'm... not pregnant, so we can't. We gotta... Oh, we're not? No, we're not. I thought you it's said news about the test the house. was positive. No. Oh. Well, no good news. <laughs> Get out of here. No, so the house, the permits are in. They are going to start building the house um, in February. We go the first weekend of February to pick out all the colors and all that kind of stuff for our house. So we're very excited about that. The truth be told, that's all this one right here. All I care about is the bathtub and the kitchen. He can have all the colors he wants. Some stuff he's a little crazy where I have to, you know, rein him in because he's trying to be like frou frou over the top. But, but he's gonna do a good job. So in June we'll have a baby Aubrey, a new house. Yes. We are so excited. It's been such a great experience. There we go. Oh, now there we go. These these cranberries are cooking down. Now somebody said you could take the skin off the cranberries. Usually I don't like the skin, but I'm going to leave the skin on these cranberries. You know, so when you eat in the cake, you can go You know, spit the spit the skin out. You do not do that. That's what I do with popcorn. Oh, okay. I know you do. And you yell at me all the time. I do. I don't know why you be yelling at me. It hurt my feelings. We need one of those little things you sit on the stove where you can sit your little spoon in it. A cute thing, but I don't want nothing bad. Oh, Candace is watching from Alberta. Welcome. Thank you so much, Gigi. 
Hi, Leslie, welcome. So if you're just joining in, Deontay's making a cranberry orange cake with chocolate frosting. Cake is in the oven, has about 26 more minutes. In the meantime, uh, Deontay is boiling down the cranberries <clears throat> that were defrosted. It's hard to find cranberries right now. And uh, so we had to go with the uh, frozen, but previously fresh uh, uh, cranberries. And then you're gonna be working on your chocolate frosting too. So the cranberries are, what, the filling? And then uh, the white chocolate frosting. Maybe your voice just loses me in a trance. Oh, okay, but maybe that's not a good thing. I'll have to be quiet for no, a moment like so it. you can like focus. It. No, no, keep focus. going. You're doing everything I don't okay. want to do. I was, I was using my teacher voice. I love it. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to start mashing here, okay? You want to bring them up top, babe? Oh, never mind. You, got your, you just got your hands wet. Oh, well. Bring them up top before I start mashing. All right, let's get this over here. Hey, Clement. Hey, Cena. All right, we're flipping the camera around. Hang on, everybody, we're going for a ride. Ooh, we're flipping. There we are. So we have this rolling boil. Look at that hand working. Promise we're not that close. Hey, I need mean, something better. Than this. It's working. It's working. You just got that one should go back, like rotate it. Yeah. Don't go too much because you're gonna. Don't do what? You could probably put it in a blender. And then put it back Uh-huh. I was just blender. thinking about that. Let's do blender. Because it blender. needs to be ground up, right? Um, it says you can do a mash or you can put it in a blender if you don't want to deal with the skin. I prefer a blender. It would be really grinding it up a lot okay, better. We'll put it back in here. Okay. You got to recook it after you get that done. So if you can get that set up for me, please. Thank you. I might do it a little bit by bit. Yeah. Oh, but it smells so good. I'm thinking, it, oh, look at this sauce. I see it on the side of the walls. I'll be cleaning later. Not on those walls, on the oh, pan oh, walls. Oh, okay. So put this over here. I really feel like you can probably pour something in the little pour spouts on the pan. Is it going to mess the, this up? Well, it's glass. So it's no, it's be. glass. Okay, go ahead. So you just got to be careful, obviously, when I'm with you. Oh, yes. Oh, that smell, that cinnamon, that cinnamon. Oh, more, Paul. You may have to do half, we have to do it in batches. Oh, okay. so we can take it all in there. Why don't you go the other way? Like, okay. Slowly. Oh, it may take it all, that's good. I'll get the cup. This is my, oh, this is gonna be one of my favorites. I can already tell. We could sell this one for $24.99. Mm -hmm. I should I do a good job cleaning that cover. Baby, I love that. Well, I made my fruit smoothie in it, but. My husband knows I don't like peanut butter, and he tries to make me smoothies with peanut butter in them. I love peanut butter. I'm team peanut butter. I, I hate peanut butter. I'll only put a tablespoon in. Ooh, she's All smoking. Right. You want to go slow though, so I would do like a stir. And you want to hold it. The you want to hold the handle. I'm gonna hold right the top. Here. I don't want to hold okay. it. Okay. Please go slow. Why do you want to go slow? Because eventually it's gonna. I don't want to. Slowly making its way to the top. May have to go like maybe another notch faster. Could be one more. Could do a stir or two if you want. We'll stop it. I like this is uh -huh. It's getting there. Down in there, good. Starting to swirl. Come on, baby. Just get there. You're doing too much now. I 
some of the heat out of you. All right. That's it over there, crazy. Okay, you need to probably taste it though. Okay, because you don't want it too tart. If you, I ain't sticking my lips on this. This thing is hot. It's like them hot balls. It's a good consistency. Baby, don't burn yourself. I don't want to get sued. That's a whole lot of my feeling. It's a good one. Thank you. I made it. I know. It's perfect. It's really good. All right. Now it's supposed to go back on here. You want to put low. Until it thickens up. Mm -hmm. It's pretty thick already, though. That's what they said about me. That was really good. Thank you. I know I made it. I'm not cocky. I'm just confident. Hi, guys. Welcome. Deontay just finished, and somebody said it perfectly. It's definitely, it was a reduction, and now we have put it in the blender. It's cranberry, and it's really, really good. The cranberries were, I, I think they were sweet already. Uh, one of the concerns with this recipe is just make, making sure that you balance uh, that cranberry with the right amount of sugar so it's not too tart. So I went, went to a cup instead of three-fourths of a cup. Now let me try, because you be gassing me up sometimes. I'm just gonna let this cool down. This is not my first time in the kitchen, but Deontay's is obviously that temperature, and this being glass, we're gonna let this cool completely before we clean it. Deontay likes to crack glass. Baby, catch me! Don't let me fall out. You were supposed to be a trust fall. You was just gonna let me fall with my red bottoms on. I just have to put your uniform on. <laughs> you know what? I ain't got time for you right now. Okay. So we're really done with this. I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut it off. I think it's already thick enough. I don't wanna get too crazy that with it. cake smells really good. Cake smells good. Let me check in on the cake real quick, y'all. Oh, they look beautiful. They look beautiful. I can't show y'all that because of the way that everything it smells really good in here. Baby, you gassing me up. What you want? You want a new car or something? What you no, want? I was just telling everybody how it smells. They can't smell. Oh, they can't. Through. The iPad. Look, I'm cleaning that cooking. All right, y'all, so let's move on to the next part. All right. Hey, Danielle. All right, this got to get out of my way now. So, thank you. Welcome, everybody. As usual, I am cleaning. Hey, why are you telling people lies? Because I like it. Uh-huh. Okay. And Deontay won't do it. <laughs> so the next part we're going to work into while our cake is coming out. Now listen, it's not y'all have seen us put it all together. Definitely a team effort. I'm going to take some pictures because we got to wait for the cake to cool down. We want to do it right. So it's going to take like probably. <coughs> oh gosh, you just talked on me. <coughs> I was That's out. it. 20 minutes for the cake one and one on my skin. Come here, I'll get the oil and put it on you. You need to be baptized. I'm gonna mash your face with this. <laughs> oh. So, listen, I told y'all, you know, my red bottoms weren't for everybody, they were for me, so I just wear them around the house sometimes, you know. But anyway, um, so we've gotta let the cakes cool down and stuff, and I really wanna do this recipe right. So, I don't know how we're gonna work this out, but we'll get through it and we'll figure out where we are, when we are, when we get there. Okay, let me get, um, I need a pan. And you've learned, what's the trick for melting chocolate? I'm about to show you. Okay. Right 
right now we're gonna start working on our um, um, frosting, Fried right? Chocolate just. frosting. Put some water in your pan, get it on your eye. This is the perfect way to melt down your frosting. Now, you don't want the, I'm gonna take it down just a little bit. You don't want the water touching your bowl, you want the steam to work very well to, to get it all done. All right, auntie. All right. So, what's next? Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good in here. Add salt to your taste. Okay, so. We're gonna beat butter in a medium high speed until soft and creamy. We're gonna, for about one to two minutes, we're gonna add powdered sugar and beat on medium low until fully combined. And then we're gonna add our chocolate and mix on medium spot speed until combined and creamy. And then we're gonna stir in a teaspoon, a tablespoon, one to two, so we'll probably do two of orange juice depending on the consistency of the buttercream. And then we'll go from there and we will um, smooth, we'll add salt. I've never heard of adding salt, but we'll try it out. Okay, so I need my big bowl. We're gonna have our butter. We're gonna use a cup of butter. As you all have seen in the background, the butter's been out, so to get to room temperature. You okay, then? Oh, yeah. So it's gonna be careful. Yeah, don't cut yourself. Mm -hmm. I hope you all are having a great day, and I hope your week to come is going to be fantastic. Oh, Lord. Remember, you decide how you're going to approach each day. If you get up and you feel down, you feel depressed, you feel alone, get out the house and go do something. Don't sit in that space in the house by yourself. Wash your hands. Yes, I got butter juice on. Baby, that water is so hot. Oh yeah, what was cool? Oh, chocolate covered potato chips. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't mix salt and sweet. I like to keep everything separate. I'm one of those. I don't want no salted caramel. I don't want none of that. I don't want no syrup on my bacon. Bake, you know the one thing that makes me upset y'all is every time I go to get a donut and you go in the box and they'll sort it and somebody orders a donut with some um, bacon on it with the maple. I'm just like who destroys who destroys a donut like that? That is not of God. That is horrible. All right, let's go ahead and beat this thing up. Oh, before we beat it up though, let's go ahead and measure out the rest of the stuff that we're gonna need. Oh no, we can do it as we go. One thing I like about bacon is you get to play with your food. Have about 11 more minutes on the cake. Now are you making two of them or it's just double? It's a, it's a four layer cake. Okay and um, you take the tops off and then I cut them in half.
Bacon donuts? Oh no. Chocolate covered chips. Small cheese. What will they come up with next? Bacon soda hot dogs. As you can see, the butter is breaking down, starting to get creamier. Just play with it, it's all right. You know, you see, the, just work through it, work through it. All right, let me get my cups ready. I'm gonna go with a half a cup because the big cup is too much. All right. Okay, so we are gonna add in here two cups of powdered sugar. So I'm using a half a cup for those that have counting issues like me, that's four of these. All right, I grab my little knife, make sure you fill it in. Scrape off the excess on the top so you get kind of a good, my sous chef done left me. Uh -huh. You didn't think I noticed, uh huh. you thought I was too busy. I'm packing it in but I'm also slightly just taking off a little bit off the top. So that's one. This is the white chocolate frosting. The cake has about eight minutes left. You don't want to overcook your cake. So know your oven, keep an eye on it. Then the next thing we're going to do, our filling is um, thickening up as we work on the, the uh, frosting. That's two. Tonight, we, we're going to visit with some friends out of the area. I'm so excited. I was like, what can I bring? She said, just bring your sinking faces. I said, my sinking face? She said, I, I meant smiling faces. So we're going to go on and take this over there, see if they like it. All right, here we go. We've got four. half cups, which equals two cups of powdered sugar. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get that all mixed in there together. Take my time with this because what I don't want to happen is to spread this all over the place. So lowest setting is optimal. So just take your time. You got seven minutes on the cake. Okay, just like that. Go ahead and clean off your edges. I love being in the kitchen, y'all. It's just such a freeing, fun hobby. And at the end of it, most of the time, we got something good. Okay. So what's next? We're going to start working on our chocolate and then we're going to add some orange juice at the end of our chocolate right we're going to let this sit let that butter soak in some of that powder when we add the chocolate in there it's pretty well mixed up right now when we add the chocolate and start mixing it it'll help it mix up that much better our eye was on previously it is not on now but i'm going to go ahead and turn the eye on 
I'm gonna put it on about a six or a seven, let that steam start to build up, and then I'm gonna measure out my chocolate. I need, let's see, how much of it is it? Okay, One cup of white chocolate. All right, as you see, when I'm cooking, I go from Kirkland to Wegmans to Walmart. I use all types of different brands. It just depends on what I'm using, but I do like using the Ghirardelli chocolate. I find that it has the richest uh, taste. Go ahead and do a cup of this. We've got four minutes on our cakes. Let's take a second and look at those. Gonna get those out here in a second. So I don't want to overcook them. I don't want it to be dry. Ooh, they got a slight little burn on the top. I think they're done. Babe, help me out. Nothing, never mind. I don't want to overcook them. That's what it looked like. Now, the way we're going to find out if our cakes are done is you grab a toothpick. Oh, Lord, she hot. Oh, she hot. Okay. Grab a toothpick and you stick it in your cake at the center. If it comes out clean, they are done. All right? So that was a little less than 45 minutes. And they're still cooking, obviously, if they're in the pan. So it has a beautiful um, smell. I can smell the orange. Smells so good. So what I'm gonna do is they're gonna still be cooking, but I wanna go ahead and get them out of that pan. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have a wire rack up here. And on this wire rack, I'm gonna add some parchment paper so they're not getting stuck into the holes here. And we're gonna let them cool down, okay? Can you come cut some for me? No, for the uh, the rack. I need to get my thing out. Thank you. You just want some for the rack. Yeah, see, I want to get those out of there. I don't want them. I want to get them. You want some for that? Yes. I don't want to, um, I want them to cool down. See how they're done? They're nice, pretty color. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and we got a white chocolate in the bowl. It's about a cup right there. Two more. Here we go. Hi, everybody. You want to bring in the kitchen? All right, let's do the dining room. That's fine. Thank you. All right, multitasking. I need about two tablespoons of orange for this. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So that's not a lot. that ready as well. You 
Say again, love. Yes, if you could, please. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead, get our orange flavor. Everything's going to have that orange flavor. And if you do it just right, it's going to balance out the taste. Looking at our chocolate melting nicely. It looks good. We cheated and put parchment paper down. Oh, that's what I said. We didn't cheat on nothing. Oh, okay. We went, but the parchment yeah, paper, the yes, parchment you're right. Paper. You're right. I had to look at you for a second. I was about to say, I done done all this from scratch. There ain't been no cheating in here. I don't know why I got to lick every orange that I, that I, oops. Oops. And what that does is it makes it really easy to get those cake, uh, cakes out of the pan. So I'm slowing down a little bit just to, you know, so we can, did they come out really good? Oh, they look really good. Should I bring them in to show you? You can take them in to show them. Oh. oh no, I'm on top. I need a glove. Here they are. You can probably put them right here now. That's fine. Some I don't want cakes. them to be either. That's what they look like. I know the lighting seems like they appear to be a little bit darker. Is that okay right here? Uh, is that eye still hot? That's why I don't, I don't oh, want to Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were using that eye. I want them to pull it. Who are you using that eye? I wasn't using that eye, but the stove releases the heat that way. Oh, okay. So as you see, by using this, it breaks. You don't have to worry about overcooking your chocolate. I don't know if y'all remember back when we first started doing this. Oh my God, it was so hard. We spent so much time trying to figure out how to get our chocolate melted down. Oh yeah. But once you get it, once you learn how to do it, you got it, okay? No, they look really, really good. Look at this. Oh, look how creamy that is. Hey! Hi, okay. Sharon. Now, you don't want to overcook your chocolate, right? So, that's hot enough that it's going to keep melting down. Cut that eye off. Yes, now it's come down to a nice even consistency. Now we gotta let that cool down. And you get it to cool down by simply just stirring, working it, right? Can you grab that handle, put up the handle, put it on the back eye, please. With this one? Yes, thank you. I get a new one for it. We'll, we'll put that on the list. That's why I gotta supervise this. Be careful though, because I don't know if you see That's why it. I need a bigger space. Uh huh. It still works. It still works. So okay. Uh huh. I should get electrocuted now. Burning stuff. Where did it burn it? We almost had a fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it did good. It didn't burn all the way through. No. When you're replacing it, if it still works, why see why are you so bougie? That's that's called a growing pain. Mm -hmm. Can I get a tablespoon? A tablespoon? Yeah. Yeah, regular, just a tablespoon, or you want an actual tablespoon, like measurement wise? Here is your tablespoon. I went to a club one time. I was up in DC and some music like this was playing. And the guy was standing there in front of me and his little leg was just like this. I was cracked. I don't know what about that cracked me up. 
but his little legs was just the going and he was just listening to the music and I was like oh, was, oh I was kicking for a minute off of that honey his little legs was just the going incorporating I don't know if you can see that but I'll show you in a second it's all incorporating into the frosting now I'm a little worried because it doesn't look like a lot of frosting but it should work out just right this we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of orange juice into our frosting hopefully I have enough I do that's one fresh squeeze orange juice Okay. All right. Everything should be cooled down now, so I don't need this anymore. Let me try it. Make sure it's good. Take that, let it stiffen up a little bit. Okay, put that in the refrigerator for a little bit. Now, I think things are working out. They're cooling off in there. Check on my filling. Should be pretty thick. Let that cool down in here. Show you. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's how that looks. Nice. Nice and thick. It's chilling down. Or cooling down, should I say. And I'm gonna get it out of this pan because I want it to be even. I want it to cool down a little bit faster. these cranberries with that cinnamon but we 
want all this stuff to cool down, right? So we want to take our time. Don't rush through it. Give it time to cool and thicken. But the smells are phenomenal. The smells are amazing. This is probably one of my favorite th cakes to make so far. I've done a lot of different cakes, but this, is, this isn't bad. I encourage you to try it. Oh, that smell. Mm. I'm going to continue to cool down. Actually, I think I'll leave it at room temperature. Now, what it tells you to do when you're making the cake is to go about center and cut through and then take the top off. Because what I do is butt to butt and then I'll take a little bit off the top. I don't know if I need to do that. Let's see how she feels. Ooh. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip, my, flip it over. flat tool to work with here. gonna force it not gonna do anything too quick go let them keep cooling okay and actually we just sit them right here all right now while everything is cooling and doing this thing I'm gonna clean up so since y'all want to stay on here I guess and watch me put it all together so we can do that I guess I can clean the kitchen while that's going on and we can talk. We can just talk a little bit, if that's okay with y'all. Okay. So, all right now, Gigi. I'm enjoying my college classes as I start back. It was very hard to get motivated to get back into the swing of things. But I'm so thankful for winter break. You give me some time to reset. Um, oh, thank you, Marilyn. <coughs> this is already clean. Did I add oil? What was I supposed to add oil to? I think I already did. I hope I added oil. I don't remember using the oil stuff for putting it on Ben's head. Okay. So the last part of this will just be putting it all together. We have extra oranges. going to use some of this extra powder or maybe sugar. I'm going to take the cranberries. I'm trying to think in my head after I decorate the cake what I'm going to do with the extra cranberries. So I'm going to probably put them in some sugar, like a frosting on them, and then decorate the top of the cake with it. So I'm going to leave this out because I will need that. All right. I've learned with this cake thing, y'all, if you try to rush it, 
It ain't gonna come out right. If things are too hot, let them cool down. You know, sometimes it's like those conversations that you wanna have, you can't wait for everybody to cool down. You can't wait two, three days. You just rush it through it, rush it through it, rush it through it, and nothing gets solved. Sometimes you just gotta step back and wait a minute, okay? All right, Marilyn, so yes. What classes am I taking? And what is my degree going to be in? So this, this uh, time, this semester, I am taking public budgeting and I am also taking um, leadership, leadership classes. And so I am getting a degree in public administration and that's about it. I did, um, I don't even know what my classes were last semester. I was so happy to be done with those classes. But for me, going back to school was a challenge because I had such a hard time in my um, undergraduate degree, uh, not being prepared, coming from high school, going into college. I wasn't prepared for it. And so I had to really, really work hard. I was a 2.0 and go kid, young adult. And so I was really concerned about going into grad school. But grad school is completely different than undergrad school. You are taking classes that you really like and it's more focused. And I don't know, it just it just seems to be, maybe I'm in a better place, a more mature place, but I'm really loving it. Do I plan on leaving law enforcement? Good question. I do not plan on leaving law enforcement. Um, I, I really enjoy being in law enforcement. Um, you know, it's interesting when you, I always used to hear people say, um, when you're working, if you're doing what you're supposed to be do, doing in life or what you were called to do, it doesn't feel like work. And so, while things can be stressful at times, I have really, really enjoyed um, being in law enforcement and all that it entails. And so oftentimes, I don't even feel like I'm at work when I'm at work. I just love it. Um, I feel like everything that has happened up to this point um, has really um, helped me succeed in my law enforcement career. So just to further um, better myself, um, that's why I'm doing my degree. Book tour. So right now, um, there is no plan for a book tour. And the reason being is not only am I working full time, I'm doing my grad degree. Um, I am also finishing up my documentary. We had the last um, interview was it two days ago, three days ago? And so we're really focused on that and some great things are gonna come out of that. We're gonna get to work with some pretty cool people. Um, pretty excited about it. And so that's the focus right now. Once the documentary is done, completely deals of work and all that stuff, then we'll go back into um, book number two and also finishing up the book tour. So quite a few things going on. But that's me, I'm a glutton for punishment. <clears throat> and we're moving this summer as well, so that's another thing. I like that, I like that. That is, that is very true. Let me bring y'all closer over here so I can wash these dishes. Let me turn this music down before I get in trouble with Facebook. I have been really enjoying African music and Latin American music. I've been using it when I've been working out. I don't know. It's just been really, really um, just, I don't know, pumping me up. So listening to music, I'm telling you, you can change the whole atmosphere. Just change everything. Now listen. 
I'm not on here because I'm doing this, you know, it's funny because somebody will get a bug and then they want everybody else to get the bug and you know, that type of thing. But truly, and, and I say this because I'm getting the experience on it now, one of the things that I'm doing is I get up in the mornings and I go work out and it has completely changed my day. I am not, um, I am not an early morning person. I, yeah. I'm miserable when I wake up in the mornings, but now getting up in the morning has become a routine. Getting up, going and working out, it just sets the tone for the day. And I'm surprised, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I do have like, you know, I'm tired, like the, the energy drops for whatever reason. But for the most part, man, I feel like I can, you know, just, I'm unstoppable after leaving the gym. So I say that to say this, if you are dealing with any types of issues, be it depression or be it, you know, stress, get out the house and go work out. That will transform the thought process, the perception, and you don't have to go and lift the gym. You don't have to go run 10 miles. Just getting out of the house and walking five, 10 minutes. Well, it, 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 it changes things. So when I got back into the gym, you know, there's some people that go to the gym and they feel like they got to show off and they got to lift every rack. That's not the case. Who cares what other people are doing? Do what you can do. Hey, Charlene. So stop worrying about everybody else and what they do in the gym and just go in and do what you want to do. And, you know, it works out. I'm telling you. Totally different person. But anyway, that's my tidbit of information. I think sometimes we, people are like, I don't like going to the gym because I don't want people to see that I can't lift weights. Child. Stop worrying about what people see and what they think. Can't live your life like that. All right, auntie. Hey, Sean. Yeah, yeah, we all have our bad days, but listen. You decide how you respond to people's shenanigans and stuff. And you gotta figure out what's important for you. Don't let nobody else decide that. Mm -mm. You don't get to power. All right, so as soon as I finish with these dishes, we're gonna go ahead and get this cake. This is the first time I've done this. We're gonna go ahead and get this cake um, put together because it should have cooled down enough to do it at that point. We're gonna at least try it. Get my little spin wheel and everything. Because we're gonna be transporting this puppy. And then we're gonna try it tonight and see if everybody likes it. So some people say, you take cakes to people's houses and you ain't trying to know if it's good or not. I ain't worried about it. it. Ain't like I'm selling it to them. So if they don't like it, that's fine. You live and you learn. The best thing somebody can do to you is tell you no. The other thing that somebody, the best thing somebody can do to you is tell you they don't like something. A little bit harder. Stop being afraid of disappointing other people. Learn from it. Woo. I'm preaching a word today to somebody out there. But anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, I got some people around me all the time, and I love them. My husband like this. Don't tell him I said that. But he is a perfectionist. My mindset and my viewpoint, ain't nobody perfect but Jesus Christ. Now, we can strive for perfection, but you're going to fall short every time. That don't mean you don't try. But I ain't trying to be perfect. I will be perfect in nothing. Nothing at all. Uh-uh. That is not me. You looking for perfection? You better look somewhere else. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That is an unrealistic, unattainable goal. No, no, no. We all do. Sometimes I be talking to y'all and I be speaking to myself. Just reminding myself, 
Come on and master. And that's why I created Cooking with Love. Because somebody asked me a, a while ago, it's, it's, it wasn't recent, but it's been a while ago. And they said, why, why do you get online when you sad sometimes? Why do you let people see you sad? I said, well, they see me when I'm happy, so why shouldn't they see me when I'm sad? The problem is we try to pretend that everything is perfect and everything is just, we want to present like just the world is just so grand. No, that's not the case. We all human. We suffer. We, we get mad. We got emotions and stuff, and you got to work through it. And one of the things that I love about social media, there's a lot of things I dislike. But one of the things I like about social media is that it enables you to be able to see if people are real, see their highs and their lows. And sometimes, I tell people this all the time, sometimes you might be able to help somebody and you don't even realize they struggling with the same thing you struggling with. I don't get that whole perfection thing and I gotta have a perfect life because I'm worried about what Susie Q next door gonna be saying about me. Who cares? Who cares? The same ones that talk about you and try to make you feel less than are dealing with their own dirt and they just better at hiding it. It's not who is better than who, it's just who's better at hiding their stuff. You better know that. I don't stress out about none of that stuff. No. Life is too short. Give me something real to worry about. I ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses. And I ain't trying to be better than nobody else. I'm just trying to be me. Just trying to be me. And that's how I view life. So just a little insight. Just a little insight. You'd be surprised at some of the people that come up and talk to me. I'll never tell nobody business because that's not what it's all about. But you'd be surprised at some of the prominent people who wear a smile every day and go home and cry every night. Nothing shocks me anymore, baby. Nothing. I done heard some craziness. Do you think they're like me? Who cares if they like you? Jesus Christ. You better stop worrying about who like you and who don't and get your own life straight. Make sure you like you. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Make sure you like you. If you don't like you, how do you expect everybody else to like you? I'd have been there, child. I tell you. There were times I didn't even want to see my own self. I didn't like myself. Mm. You ain't got it, you can't get it. But anyway, I'm gonna get off that horse. Yes, Auntie, I, I talked about that in the documentary. Hey, Sachin, you know, I smile. Sometimes I don't learn how to do it, honey. I can smile with the best of them, and I'll be mad as hell. Just mad, angry, but I'm. Yes. And everybody's like, oh my God. Mm. I don't learn though. If somebody do something that bothers me, you gotta get that off your chest. You can't just hold it down. Let me try to get in the corner there too. You can't just hold it down on the inside because then you walking around angry and stuff like that. The best way to get back at somebody is first, try to control your emotions. But you gotta let them know and then move on with life and live your best life. They looking at you like, how do you do that? Mm. But God, that's all I got to say, but God. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Worst thing you can ever do is let somebody know that they're getting to you, because then they're going to keep on. They just jump on you and just keep right on poking that nerve. Next thing you don't know, you done lost it and done assaulted somebody or something. And then you sitting in jail, they still out living their best life. You won't get me like that. No way, Beelzebub. Mm -mm. And one of the best skills, that one of the hardest skills, it's been taking some people a whole lifetime to learn this. It's taking some, I, this is one of the hardest life lessons you will ever 
path to understand, learn, learn how to do it is letting people go. I'm telling you, and I love everybody, but I can love you from a distance. Because if what you're doing is, is hurting me, or uh-uh, uh I done been through too much to sit around and try to be fake and hang around with people that I don't want to be around, or people that I don't, your feelings, mm -mm, that don't trump my well-being and my mental health ain't happening. So, you know, mm -mm. Now, I I'm not the type of person where there's been a few people, they just like, oh, you stopped talking to me? I did. Because I ain't got time for half fake friends and all that kind of, I ain't got time for that. Oh, no. Life is too busy. Either you a part of this or you not. Keep it moving. And then if they apologize and come back, okay, come on back. Let's be friends. However, I got my eye on you. And at that point, you get two chances. After that, mm -mm, you got to go. I can't, I can't do it. Just my life lessons, how I operate. And I try not to be, I gotta be mindful sometimes because I'm not the best of friends at all the time either. I ain't perfect. So I try to, when I deal with other people, I try to treat them with the same grace and courtesy that I would like when I mess up. So you gotta be mindful of that too because how would you want somebody to treat you if you ain't doing things right? So you gotta think about that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it because ain't nobody perfect. People are going to make mistakes. People are going to disappoint you. People are going to do things wrong. Don't just throw them away. But, you know, that's how I always try to look at life. How would I want to be treated if I did such and such? Whew. Okay, now let's get back into this cake. Let's see how we're doing here. Now, these cakes are relatively flat, okay? They look really good. I don't think I need to cut any off the top. We're just going to cut cut them in half. Wash my hands because I just had some of that chemical mixture there that we use. Alright, let me get my icing out of the refrigerator. Oh, that white chocolate and orange. Mm. Oh yeah, she thickened up. So we got our filling. Okay, okay Auntie. Okay. Yes, I'm okay, baby. Can I get my um can I get a um about my husband real quick let me tell you about my husband so my husband likes to clean this kitchen and stuff and he moves stuff around all the time in my head I know where everything is it might look disorganized to you but for me I know where it's at so he comes through and I bet you he better not have thrown it away you better not have thrown it away because he went through here cleaning for our new house and went through here and cleaned out everything he threw everything away so now I can't find what I need Ooh. I am so mad at you right now. See, I just talked about controlling my emotions. Oh, I want you to stay out of this kitchen.
Man, you got me walking through here like an African Nubian guy. in case your spouse sabotage you. Ooh, I'm so mad. Ooh, you got me madder than a church nun. So what I was looking for, let me tell you what I was looking for. I was looking for my, my plate that you sit your desserts on and you can spin them. So when you ice them, it's a little bit more easier. And when I cut them in half, it'll be a little bit more easier. But I think my husband threw it away. He's just not admitting to it. That's okay. Because he'll just have to buy me a new one. <sighs> this is my mad face. All right, where's my little tool to cut? Oh, Jesus, help me. Where's my tool to cut? I had that out too. Did you put that away? You cut an apple with this? Oh. All right, let's put our cake together. flat surface. Now I'm going to measure where it's going to fall. Make sure we get it even here. I want to cut this now. Got an idea. I don't even know if this is going to work like I want it to. Oh no, this ain't, this ain't going. It's not even high enough. I don't like this, this is not gonna work. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that option. She ain't thick enough. And I want a nice, so let's try it with this. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm gonna try it with this knife. Let's cut across.
Okay. Let's see, where is my... Because this bottom part is not going to be... What do I want to use? Where is my... Oh, there it is. I want that to be my middle piece and my top piece because that this piece right here on the top has cracked. So we're gonna piece that on. I actually might use that in the middle. So I might, yeah, I'll just keep it the way it is. Because this part's gonna crack. Uh, I need another plate. Mm. I know it's gonna crack, but that's gonna be okay. She's gonna go in the middle. Maybe not. Huh? I'm so nervous. There we go. We have our first layer down. All right, let's see where we are here. Gotcha. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, grab me a little knife right here. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me make sure y'all can see what I'm gonna do here. Sit this over here, let it continue to pull. I'm gonna move my other plate over here so you can see what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take, and we're gonna have just a little bit of frost in here and we're gonna spread it. Let's see. It's the perfect opportunity to give your store space and tough love during the storm or safe work. And actually, I don't know why I'm using this butter knife, because I do have a, um, I'm not gonna grab it now, but I do have a, whatever it's called. I do have one of those tools. What's the tool called? Y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't even know where it's at, but it's all right. Oh, Lord, she just slid down in there. Spatula, that's what I'm Thank you all for being patient with me this evening. And thank you for being a part of Cooking with Love. The Cooking with Love family. So if you ain't got no family, somebody say, who your family? You say, it's the Cooking with Love crew. All right, there we go. We got a nice thin layer. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our... Cranberry filling. Oh, it's 
smell. The smell of it, y'all. I would just put this on a sandwich right here and just eat this. I ain't telling you nothing but the truth. And we're gonna chill it. So after we're done, I'll put it in the freezer and chill it for a little bit as well. All right, let that let the everything cool down, get nice and hard on there. And one second. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. That's so good. Woo. Put my fingers in my mouth. I couldn't help myself. Tonight we are going to a friend's house up north in Alexandria. And so we're going to take this working its way out. Oh. Now I'm gonna take this icing and I'll put it in that crack because that's gonna go ahead and hold it together. Sometimes it's like that matriarch in the family, you know, they hold everything together. Big mama. I don't put up, she get in them cracks. She tell you, listen, you know you ain't living right. Get your life together. But come on over here and get some of this good cooking. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our next layer in. Oh Lord, thank you for not letting this fall in there.
Welcome. If you're just tuning in, we are finishing up the cranberry orange um, cake with a white chocolate um, topping. To all my YouTube fans out there, I haven't mentioned y'all much in the lives. I forget to do that sometimes because we don't really go live on YouTube. But thank you for subscribing and thank you for tuning in. All right, there we go. We almost done. One more, one more, one more cookie. Spilling more of it over there. But I got a lot of extra anyway. Babe, what you want to do with this extra stuff? What, extra? extra cranberry filling. You mean just throw it away? It on top. Oh, it's too much to be drizzling it on top. All right. Oh! A strudel pancakes, danishes, okay. Oh, that orange. This is good. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I'm not icing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it continue to cool right as it is. And I'm going to actually take it stick it in the uh, freezer for a little bit so it hardens in place and then I'll come back later and I'll ice it and I'll take a picture and I will uh, post it here and post it everywhere so you can all see it thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of cooking with love what I registered oh and I love you I appreciate you please continue to post your recipes and uh, like and comment on other people's recipes. And as always, be safe, be blessed, and we and will see you. I did not you. just show up to clean now. I was in the beginning. Um, you see all of this? Well, we had a you whole did conversation. A little bit. I did a lot of it. But but that was to keep you occupied and focused. You left. And me. then I think I'm you coming fired. Down. But anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you next time for cooking with love. Love you.